Okay, we're going to do a too long, didn't read version of this error groups page. Um, so the easiest way is to go to Grafana and pull up your dashboard. Yeah, we're good. So this by default is going to give you the last 30 days. We also have this um, weekly report that comes out, the InfraDev status report. It also shows your past 28 days air budget. Okay. And you can if you click on this, it'll take you to the dashboard. You can also bookmark, bookmark the dashboard and it's also in SciSense. Um, but then it also will show past seven days. This is really important. I'm glad that you asked this question because if you fix something, you don't have to wait 30 days to see if it helped at all. So if you change that to last seven days, it'll give you the spin. So this has changed now to be in the red. So this tells me that in 30 days, when the original error budget, the default updates, that we're going to be even lower than this. Since okay. It's only been a week. If you click on this drop down budget spend attribution, it's going to tell you what's contributing the most, and it's in that order. So what I always do, it looks like the API app deck. So you have slow API requests. I always just focus on that first one, and then I come over here. Let's see API. Failing, slow request, and failing. This is also helpful. Here's slow request. You can open this up. Which sometimes takes a while, so I wish I did that first. So this, in plain English, you're saying, Okay, we see that the we have some API slowness, and now you're drilling into a chart that's going to show us exactly what about the API mm -hmm. slow. Yeah, what should you be looking into? Okay. Okay. Well, that can just that can just sit a minute. But what I can do, there is one that's quicker. Okay, it's still loading. Um, the import group, who I just checked in on earlier. Let's do manage, manage. Hmm. Still loading. Dang. Also, you can look at all of Manage if you wanted to, but here's Import. Okay. Budget spend. I can already tell you it's sidekick. Okay, so now we got two going. How often do you come in and check on each team? Um, at least weekly. Okay, and are the EMs doing that as well? I really hope so. Um, okay. I really do hope so because they can, the error budget can change so quickly. And if there's a production incident, which affects multiple areas, um, especially in manage where all of our endpoints kind of sit on top of the application, that will impact everyone's error budget. So it's really nice to catch that right away. Okay. So for import, which loads faster, these are the one, two, three, four, five sidekick workers contributing to their error budget. This one has had 3,200 slow requests. So if their error budget is in the red, this is the very first thing to look at. Okay. And then at that point, they can use Sentry to look this up. They can use um, Kibana to look up slow requests there and, and they can drill into that more. Auth is still loading. Okay, but this would be about where my involvement would stop. I would then alert the engineers of this and then they would start looking into it, right? Yes, yes and no. Um, depending on what comes up in auth, I, I can almost guarantee you it'll look like an issue that you've seen before. Um, okay. This is very common with like the workspace group. One of the first things that comes up with them is 
um, the slash projects endpoint. And I know that we've got like three performance issues already for that endpoint. And I know that, and you probably know a lot of this too. So as a PM, that kind of gives you the insight to like, oh, maybe we should prioritize those or. Okay. Oh, ah, okay. So this is listing the members of a group. So this actually might be um, an endpoint that workspace just reassigned to off maybe. I don't know, but it could be. Oh, okay. But this is basically saying this endpoint, look how look how many times that it has exceeded the duration. Wow. So this one is 24 million. Oh. But what about this one that's 30 393 <laughs> million? Um yeah, this is this is the one to look into. And so if you just you could either search GitLab org, which you should do, but I'm not going to do that. You could probably just pull it up. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Really, the best way to do it is to look at the. <clears throat> Maybe you don't have an issue, but. Uh, what do you know? <laughs> we only we almost always have an issue for everything. So look, this is a P3 S3. Now you as a PM, you have this data 393 million times that it's exceeded the duration. This is already like a P1 S1. I understand that it's exceeding the duration, but what I, the context I don't have is understanding where does this actually show up? Like, I understand it's a slow API call, but where is that latency actually seen by users? That's a good question. You don't always know the answer to that, but in, in a lot of cases, these will fail because they take so slow. They take so long to load. I don't know if we want to, maybe this one's faster. I don't know how fast that'll be, but if even 50% if, if even of these were so slow that the request failed for the user, depending on what this endpoint does, they wouldn't be authenticating into the platform. It would depend. Yeah, but surely that's not happening or else I feel like we would know about it. If our mm -hmm. login was failing 50% of the time. Well, sure. But because that's the, where the question comes in of like, un, I need to understand what this actually does. Yeah. Yeah, and really you would need the team to kind of. Yeah. Over time, I think you'd probably learn like this one groups, single sign on controller for SAML. Some yeah. of them kind of make sense. Um, wow, that's a lot though. The other thing too, this target duration, this one says five, but the others say one. Maybe this is low urgency. And that goes back to your question. If it is slow, but it does not impact the users, does it have to return in one second? Or can Correct. we change this to be a five second goal? The other thing that the team can do is they can say, okay, well, hypothetically, if we did change it to be five seconds, at that point, how many of these requ requests would be exceeded? Because in some cases, like with the workspace group, even if they change this from one to five as the goal, they are still so far out of bounds that it's gonna be the same result. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, no, that's that totally makes sense. Does that help? What kind of question? Yeah, it is. And I remember now that you say it, I do remember hearing Harris saying things like they had to readjust their error budgets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, Yarka and I can work together on these and uh, I'll definitely, oh, well, while we're talking about this, do you know that Slack integration that the import team has? Is that something we can get? Yeah, people are asking that. I haven't dug into it yet. That's something that, um... I think Dan set up before he left. Okay. But other groups have been asking me about that too. I'm sure it's just a Slack integration. Um, so I will write that down and see if I can document something. Cool. All right. Well, thanks. That was really helpful, Michelle. Thank you. This was a good question. Um, all right. Catch you later. Let me know if all you right. need help with anything. Okay. Bye.